Bus stop ID number 18124. On Skillman, it's for the 502 heading towards Lover's Lane Station. The 502 bus was supposed to be here at 6.51 p.m. It's now 6.57 p.m. And the bus is down there at that light down there. See how long it takes to get here. Now 6.58 a.m. Come ahead, Lynn. How long do you come back around? Like 45 minutes? Yeah, about 35, 40 minutes. Don't worry, thank you. There's three of us on the route, so. Hello, sir. Thank you. That's another one of the buses that does not have the bus ID number written on the inside like it's supposed to. I'll get it on the outside afterwards. Got plenty of video on the driver. The driver is fired. Incompetence. Neglect of duty. Traffic's not all that busy either. Not at all. It may be rush hour, supposedly, but it's not that busy. The driver is telling the passenger that they're not enforcing laws on his bus. And he's going to wonder why he got fired. Leave the camera running, we're almost to the station. It's not that far. Besides, leaving the camera running shows that the traffic's not that bad, also. As you can see, looking out the window, there just aren't that many vehicles going by in either direction. So you can't blame being late on a camera or on a bunch of vehicles or traffic. And he was at least seven minutes late because it was almost 6.59 when he got here. It was 6.58 and he was supposed to be here at 6.51.
painfully and somewhat There was a bus schedule for a reason, and I put out that reason. The buses are supposed to be at those places at the appointed times, not three minutes late, not eight minutes late, not seven minutes late, not late at all. Three six one zero three. 
Bus ID number 36103. 7.07 p.m. Friday, August 21st, 2015. Eight minutes late to the Lover's Lane train station, bus station. Almost eight men, almost eight minutes at least late getting to the bus stop where he picked me up. The driver is fired. No one has the right to countermand my say-so, being that I am the founder and sole owner of Dallas Area Rapid Transit. I have never given, any, given anybody authorization to countermand my orders, and I never will. Any wages that person takes past this date and time right now, he takes by way of conspiracy fraud and conspiracy theft. I say conspiracy because the only way he can get away with it is if one of the supervisors or persons at management at DART allow him to do so. The conspiracy statute clearly states when two or more people are involved in a crime, then the conspiracy statute applies. The driver is banned permanently from all dark properties, including buses, trains, bus stops, train stations, offices, yards, everything, maintenance shops, you name it, everything.